I mean, queer people are just the bomb. Like, we're the bomb. My name is E.R. Fightmaster. I am an actor and a comedian, and I found improv. And I moved to Chicago and did improv at the Second City for like eight years. And then I moved out to LA, and now I'm here <laughs> acting seriously. When I started in Chicago, I, I knew that I was gay, but I was still negotiating gender and presentation and how those things felt to me. And so only in the last like two and a half years have I really um, come into non-binary, found the identity itself, and, and realized how happy and fulfilled it has made me. I remember when Grey's Anatomy came out in like 2005 and 2006, and the impact it had, like I do not know a single person who did not watch that show. I got an email from my manager about uh, from from Grey's with the sides attached, and it was for a non-binary doctor, which just seemed like <laughs> too good to be true. And this never happens. I never feel this way. I watched the stuff take back, and I thought, hey, you you're gonna book, you're gonna book. And then 12 hours later, I got the phone call. Well, you have to know about memorizing medical jargon. <laughs> Is that most of the words that I'm saying, I've never heard before, <laughs> and I have no idea what they mean. And no one is ever gonna confuse me for someone who's good at science. And that's how you know I'm a good actor. Grey's Anatomy is a gay show. That's a gay show and it's it's a queer show in in the way that queer is like this big umbrella term for diversity or anything different. They have been changing the game in many different ways. They have been showing diversity in many different ways. It is a dream to do something that I have not seen before but have wanted to see for so long. I just think when you think about these like queer kid viewers, you're really looking at this like kind of heartache that is fixed so easily by like a little snack of representation. You know, just the, these moments of getting to be a doctor on screen, there is not a moment that it is lost on me. How helpful this would have been to little me. Being an innovator also means to me that there are some sacrifices that get made. So right now I do feel like I and a few other people in the industry right now that are also doing a great job are kind of trailblazing the way for queer people, for uh, non-binary people specifically, trans mass people specifically. Um, and when you are doing that, a lot of your work, that a lot of the work that you get is all about identity. I hope that this generation of non-binary people that's working right now can genuinely make it easier, never normalize, I hate that word, but make it easier for our community that comes after to be as expressive as they want to without having the burden of constant representation.